Taiwan is headed for a presidential election in January that could alter its relationship with mainland China. The ruling Nationalist Party has been seeking closer ties with Beijing ever since returning to power in 2008. But now the party's pro-China stance is falling out of favor and the opposition Democratic Progressive Party is seizing the opportunity. We take a closer look at how the race is shaping up. The coming election will be a tough race and I take full responsibility. The ruling Nationalist Party took the unusual step on Saturday of replacing its original candidate, Feng Shouchu, with Chu Li Luang. Feng had been dogged by low poll numbers. Many voters saw her as supporting unification with mainland China. Chu is viewed as the party's best hope. The 54-year-old mayor of New Taipei City was chosen as party chairman in January. We had to make a decision. I have to offer my sincere and deepest apology to Hung Shou Chu for making this decision. We have to be united to safeguard Taiwan. We have to be united for the sake of the people of Taiwan. Chu knows he's in for a difficult fight. Recent polls show opposition leader Tsai Ing-wen leading by a wide margin. Chu could close the gap, but many predict her return to power for the opposition for the first time in eight years. If so, Tsai would become Taiwan's first female president. She opened her election headquarters on Sunday. Here as a presidential candidate and as the leader of the DPP, I officially issue the order to mobilize. The 59-year-old Democratic Progressive Party leader studied law in the United States and Britain. She also helped former President Li tung hui draft his controversial two-state proposal. Beijing denounced the statement as a bid for independence. Tsai expressed sympathy for the student occupiers of the parliament building last year. The activists behind the so-called sunflower movement were protesting the administration's push for a trade deal with Beijing without a proper review. The next generation is worried about the government's uncertain policies toward mainland China. Tsai's overseas trips have also highlighted her legitimacy as a presidential candidate. She followed up a visit to the U.S. in late May with another to Japan earlier this month. She succeeded in giving Taiwanese voters the impression that she has close ties with Japan's ruling party and also with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. As expected, Chinese government officials have expressed concern. China demands that Japan respect the One China policy. We insist that Taiwan's claim to independence not be disseminated. Tsai says her China policy is intended to maintain the status quo. Our biggest responsibility is to maintain peace and stability between Taiwan and China. People are hoping that Taiwan will find the right balance between ideals and reality and become more democratic. This is not only my goal as a politician, but also my belief. The battle is already on. A change of power in Taiwan is almost certain to affect economic and security relationships throughout East Asia and beyond.